Welcome to another Mac tutorial from Macboy Productions. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the top five Safari extensions in no particular order. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The very first thing that I really want every single one of you to have on your Safari is Tweety Share. It is honestly the fastest way to share URLs for your Twitter. No, you don't have to copy the URL and you don't have to paste it. All you have to do is click one button and that's in your Safari toolbar right here. If you're using Tweety for the Mac, a text field will pop up with the website's name that you're currently on with a bit.ly link already inserted in your tweet. The next item on the list is Maximirin, which helps you organize your windows into certain sizes and automatically enlarge them in specific cases. For example, Maximirin puts up around four options in your toolbar, which give you certain controls over your windows. If I click the first item, it will bring up the Maximirin toolbar, which then allows me to set the window to a specific resolution. So if I wanted to do 1280 by 800, all I have to do is click on that and the window automatically turns to that size. Now another cool feature is, say you want to maximize this again, you don't want to go ahead and drag this to the bottom of your screen, all you have to do is click one button and it's back to full screen. Another awesome feature of Maximirin is it allows you to set the windows side by side. For example, if I click this button and on my other window, I click on this button, those two windows are now side by side, fit the entire screen and are taking up equal amounts of my resolution. Once again, to go back, click this button and you're back in full screen mode. The next extension that I want to talk to you about is Tab Expose. Say for example, you have a million tabs open and you can't really see all of them at once. Well, Tab Expose solves that problem for you. On the top right corner of your Safari window, all you have to do is click this button and all of your tabs go into expose mode as you would be normally doing it with every single application. Once you see which tab you want to go to, select it and you're there. Another extension that, another extension that I love is called the YouTube Cleaner. Here's what YouTube looks like normally. But once you enable the YouTube Cleaner, all the unnecessary junk goes away and it only focuses on the features and links that you need. For example, the search bar, browse, upload, your channel assets, and of course, the sign out button. And it doesn't just change the home page. Say for example, I search up a video, and once I select to watch it, everything else, is the description, the insights, the comments, the ads go away, and the title, the video, and a few other links are present. It just enhances your YouTube experience. Another time-consuming extension for Safari is called Apture highlights. And what this allows you to do is search your files without ever having to leave your current window ever again. If I want to search up the words black ops, all I have to do is highlight them, either click on learn more or hit my keyboard shortcut. And within that same window, a small toolbar will come up for Apture as well as your search. And you can even highlight that word and change it to anything else you want. Once you hit enter, you have numerous results of images, links, videos, and etc. from various search engines for you to travel to. And ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty much it. In my opinion, those were the top five Safari extensions of today. But if you disagree with me, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think should be in this top five Safari extension video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to check out macmagic.org, follow me on Twitter and subscribe. I'll see every single one of you next time right here on Macboy Productions.